Fox or News obtained personnel records for a Carrollton High School teacher charged with making secret video recordings of female students undressing. Court records so George Thomas is out on bond under house arrest for the felony charges. After his arrest last month, we requested his personnel records to find out if he had a history of disciplinary action involving students. Fox News' James Rose joins us with a look at what those records show. James. Well, Clarice, it's pretty clear these documents list a series of violations of school policy involving R.L. Turner students. Now, while they are not criminal in nature, some might think they reflect very poor judgment at best. I have met with my client. I can tell you that he maintains his innocence. Uh, George Thomas will tell you I'm not guilty. Attorney Danny Clancy represents 54-year-old George Edwin Thomas, an R.L. Turner High School science teacher and track coach. Thomas is accused of secretly recording female students undressing at R.L. Turner during the 2015 and 16 school year. Fox 4 News obtained Thomas's personnel records from the Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD, which shows he has a history of discipline problems involving students. In May, of 2016, the school district investigated him for transporting students in his personal vehicle as a track and field coach. One document says Thomas admitted to taking one female student to and from school approximately 60 times. Another record shows in November of 2016, the principal questioned Thomas about his decision to have lunch in his classroom with the doors closed and the lights turned off and a female student sitting at a table close to the front of the room. Thomas insisted he did did nothing improper and the school found no evidence of misconduct with a student. Clancy says the school district infractions have nothing to do with the crime he's accused of committing. Uh, the judge is going to be very careful uh, to make sure that only that evidence which is relevant to this allegation is admitted. And we don't have these trials where, you know, uh, where there's smoke, there must be fire. I mean, anybody looking at that is going to find that that's odd. That is odd behavior. Not illegal behavior, but it's odd behavior, and it's clearly a violation of the school district policies and procedures. Attorney Pete Schulte, who does not represent anyone in this case, says this evidence could possibly be used in court. These incidences will not come in as evidence against him in the guilt innocence phase. Now, if he's convicted, they will come in as prior bad acts in any sentencing, but they're not going to come in before because they're not violations of the law. Oftentimes, people are too quick uh, to judge and to, uh, and to blame and to find guilt before they've had an opportunity to review the evidence. Now, Thomas has been charged with secretly videotaping the female students from R.L. Turner, but he has not been indicted by a grand jury. He currently remains free on bond, and he is on administrative leave from the school district until this case comes to fruition. Clarice. James Rose Live. Thank you.